We've been putting the time in, getting everything cleaned up out here on the Boss Coin Mining Farm. And today I've got just a bunch of random mining tasks that I'm just gonna kind of record, explain what I'm doing, why. And hopefully this gives you a glimpse into what it's like to run a, you know, if I round up a medium scale uh, mining farm. Uh, so, uh, you know, quick uh, breakdown. I'm Boss, we're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. This is the Boss Coin Mining Farm. That's our pod, air-cooled pod. Uh, so uh, we got intake on this side exhaust on the other side two of the fans are down again um, and that's where we do our air-cooled mining uh, and then in the green shed we do hard drive mining it's a field office AC finally getting cool out here so that's not that big of a deal and uh, we've been cleaning up the weeds we put down a top coat of fresh gravel uh, just because the gravel was a little thin out here and we use 21a uh, really ties everything together this is the gray immersion shed um, which is you'll see creating a lot of additional labor for us here today uh, part of that is you know very much just uh, due to uh, troubleshooting trial and error dunking miners that, uh, that you know either many people have never dunked before or they had never shared information online about uh, so just trying to figure out what works um, and make, make it happen as we go some of the tasks off the top of my head that we're going to be doing here is just getting things cleaned up, getting some miners back online. We're talking uh, replacing power supplies, control boards, uh, cleaning miners, getting them out of fluid, back to air cooled, and then also uh, prepping some different miners to go into the immersion fluid. Alexis here with me, Miss Vosk, and uh, she is working on uh, cleaning up the KS3 uh, that we just pulled out, uh, which. Long story short, hates being in uh, immersion fluid. I just plucked the S21 Pro out of the pod and got it hooked up here on my test bench. Got my handy dandy Team Red. I love this thing, it's cheap uh, and it's not very powerful, which I, I like. Uh, for spare tool that I just leave out here on the farm and then also uh, the weakness is good when I'm just de dealing with something delicate so this machine you saw me just flip the breaker it's, it's not turning on right so check the power connection it's in Ethernet but that doesn't really matter nothing zero amps this thing just died on me uh, so, when your miner doesn't power on or work at all, the first thought is power supply. Because it's not getting any power. So, I'm going to take this off and uh, try a replacement on this. I thought I had a spare power supply for the new S21 series. And really, all newer amp miners are where they utilize this newer, different connection. But it was actually the one that I took off from the T21 that we modded to run on single phase electricity from three phase. And the reason this is so tragic is look at the army of power supplies I have here. Unfortunately, this is all for the previous uh, generation. And these do not uh, you know, put out enough power technically for the spec sheets, safety wise, whatever, uh, for the new generation firmware probably wouldn't want to recognize it or like it there is a workaround way I could probably get it to work but I'd rather just get a new proper power supply uh, so when I do that I, I do think that I'm probably gonna take one of the spots that I have now just opened up in the C6 where we took the uh, Caswell KS3 miner out of uh, so probably dunk it we'll see uh, now coming over here to the old fall cashing B6D. I've got a couple miners that have problems in here. Uh, in particular, my S19 XP 141 Terra hash second, which is one of my best Bitcoin miners uh, from the previous generation. And really just, it's definitely one of my top 10 Bitcoin miners. It's not working. Uh, so. Now, honestly, it's not a lot of fun when you got to deal with a miner that's been dunked, but we do. So I'm going. Let's figure that out. Back to the pot again. Whoop! There goes passive income. Whoop! There goes stress-free life. Whoop! There goes. It's just as easy as Ethernet. 
and a power plug-in. Uh, check it out. Bam! I have had so many problems with these fans. But we did get one order of their new direct drive fans. Uh, and we're supposed to receive another order. So we're going to be swapping some miners out, dunking a K7. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those right now. One of my many minor problems that's built up over the last month or so is my Bitmain Ant Miner uh, X5. Basically, it's a weird CPU mining type rig that they rigged up and uh, doesn't work tried everything I could think of uh, but it's not working from the miner internally right we're talking hashboard issue uh, so I just plucked this out of the pod it's been offline because no matter what I do I can't get it to hash and I'm gonna submit a warranty ticket with Bitmain and get that sent in and see what happens there uh, so after thinking about it especially since we're already doing some warranty calls obviously I'm gonna send the X5 in for warranty and I'm gonna send the S21 Pro in for warranty. One thing, I wanna jinx myself, that's been easy with Bitmain for warranty work uh, previously is when a, a model is so new that it absolutely just has to be under warranty based on release date, uh, it's normally smooth sailing. I'm worried due to the X5's age, I don't remember how old it is, maybe like a year or something, that it may be out of warranty and they'll send me a repair bill. At that point, I'm just gonna look at how much it costs and how much this thing's still supposed to make and and make a decision there. It's kind of like you know investing too much in, in, a, in a car that needs a ton of repairs. It's just kind of a piece of crap at this point. Uh, dollar for dollar, you know, at some point we need to scrap stuff uh, instead of just sinking money for no reason. All right, uh, so just did some quick troubleshooting. Uh, I previously have troubleshot the uh, S19 XP141. Um, I've tried running it hashboard by hashboard by hashboard, but this miner, it's just not working for me. Uh, so I restarted it, done that before, it's not going to fix it, uh, going to kind of go from there. Also you notice this S21 uh, has a red light. Uh, so after a storm, that stopped working. And I just looked at the log on brains. And it's uh, it's saying, you know, error with hashboard one, error with hashboard two. Uh, so that's frustrating. And I don't know if Bitmain will warranty. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just opening this panel at the same time. Check check my surge protectors. That one's still good. I don't know if Bitmain will warranty a miner that's been in. Immersion fluid. We've got two 200 amp panels on each service. I'm not not really sure what to do there. Do I do I take the L? I'm thinking I'm just gonna send it in and see what they do. This one's good. That was good too. But if I don't send it in and the miner just sits here for eternity and goes from being profitable to worthless, so what's the point in that? If they send me a bill, still may be worth it over just a dead miner basically. If I'm gonna check the surge protectors on one or two, my thought is, well, I may as well check them all. They're all good. Get off the Spider-Man. <sighs> Can we just appreciate for a second that we have made a huge progress in the war against the weeds? These weeds are taking over. I need to pluck that dead one in there. It's crazy like just how fast stuff grows out here. This this ground is so fertile. I mean this this was farmed right exactly where we are before uh, you know we took this over. If you actually look over here. Uh, you see on the corner of the gravel, we got some sprouts already. 
Buying an ASIC mining rig, which is a custom computer just for mining cryptocurrencies, is actually a much more daunting task than you would expect and that it should be. There are tons of scammer sites, impersonators, all kinds of just craziness out there. Make sure you end up in the right place by using our link out to Coin Mining Central down in the video description below. And do not forget to punch in the code VOSCOIN to save some cash. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm gonna take the S21. Look at that failure rate. So this is the S21 that I already warrantied. Uh, I, I should definitely note that. I've already warrantied this S21. Now I'm gonna have to warranty it again. And I left it in air cooled a while to make sure this thing was actually gonna be good to go now. And I've also got to warranty this S21 Pro. These S21 miners are trash, which is crazy because they're coming off arguably their most successful line, the S19 series. S9s were incredible machines too, really. Uh, badass, rock solid. But the actual engineering that goes into an S19 versus an S9, uh, and you know how far they're pushing that, in my opinion, it makes the S19 more impressive. It's time to take this thing out because when you've got all this immersion equipment, right? I mean, we like the, the immersion mining endeavors been so fun, so crazy, right? So we've got fog hashing, DCX, DCX, fog hashing, fog hashing. Uh, then we've got Bixbit, and then another Bixbit unit, and we've got all this stuff. You, the, the cost is in the infrastructure, so if you have it, like you got to keep miners in there running. It, it only makes sense. Uh, so I got machines, uh, and I'm like basically maxed out on capacity. Uh, so and I've got a couple more machines on order, like the L9, um, Dragon Ball A11. We'll see how that goes. And anyway, the point is that uh, I need space, and I have holes in my immersion uh, deployment here. Shouldn't really make that comparison. Uh, That'd be a bad day. And uh, anyway, so I need to get I need to get the space back. I need to get miners in there, and I, I need just uh, to get my mining farm operation running back in tip top shape. So let's get back to work. manufacturers um, I think about five different fan spoofers and it will just stop recognizing the fan spoofers and basically it'll stop mining because it doesn't think that it has fans so to not continue messing with it we're gonna take these handles off put the fan clean it up and put the fans back on it Alright guys, so this is the KS3 and we are just spraying it down. Uh, we removed it from immersion because it's not very happy in immersion. We're going to switch it over to air cooled um, and we are just using the WD-40 contact cleaner quick drying spectralist spray. Whoop, back to the pot again. Alright, uh, so pulling out the Ice River KS3M. That miner is absolute trash baggiest and it has never been a good miner. I need to get it out of here. It is this device. Basically, all three boards are, are, are basically broken. I didn't receive any warranty support on this piece of crap device, but uh, I did overclock it too. Uh, so, yeah, this, it's, it's completely failed on basically all three hash boards. I explained the situation to Ice River. And I explained it a while ago back when the first hash board was basically just failed all the time. And uh, so if I showed the replacement of the board, uh, they would send me one. And I said, sure, I mean, it's kind of on my content to-do list anyway. Uh, so they sent me one replacement hash board. I'm just going to rip out all three boards because none of them, all three don't work. And uh, I will essentially turn a KS3M into like a KS2 you follow all those Casper miners. You working out? Jeez. Is that the S21 Pro? 
that's that's one of the biggest and heaviest miners we have. I mean, look look at the look at these devices. Every generation they're getting bigger and bigger. It's it's crazy. Well, and that's the X5. The X5, X5 is actually uh, one of the biggest previous generation miners. So uh, we're gonna get that swapped out. To replace the hash boards on these, because all three of my hash boards broke. Full dis disclaimer or disclosure: I, I did overclock it. Uh, so you can write off my experience to that if you want. I guess with the T-Swift overclock, but some other people have had better success. Uh, I popped the fans off with one, two, three, four screws on the front. Um, to remove the shroud here, you only need to remove the bottom two screws on the back and the top two screws on the front. I removed all four screws on the back accidentally. Uh, ribbon connectors for the hash boards, right? Take the fans off, they slide right out after I remove the screws here from the bus bar. Uh, so, orientation is just gonna be lined up here uh, with this, uh, where that fan cutout is. I'm gonna make sure I, I pull this down, kind of get that out of the way. That goes on. And just like that, took three hash boards out, put one replacement in. Um, I explained a while ago that I was having issues with my Ice River KS3M uh, to Ice River. Uh, so here we are, uh, one replacement board. Alexa right now is prepping miners for immersion. We're taking some miners out that aren't working, um, trying to fix them or moving them back to air cooled and or or sending them in for warranty it's going to be interesting to see how that goes if i just get straight up denied or what um, we're doing a quick cleaning i'm not going to sit here all day and make them perfectly dry and try to act as if they were always air cooled this is a ant miner k7 she also and over there uh, with the handles you can see that one was also already prepped uh that uh, just before this that's another k7 we got a full video on prepping your Minus or immersion, uh, if you want to check that out. This is just you know a quick snapshot of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to plug the KS3M back in and see if I have a whopping one hash board. Uh, my daily earnings with the KS3M with all three of my basically broken boards uh, the past couple months has, has been about 70 cents a day. Pretty sure it was losing money. Uh, when you're not mining, you're not normally using power. I never put it on a power meter. Um, I was expecting to swap these boards out sooner than, than I ended up really doing here. But anyway, let's get it plugged in. Plug it and chug it. There goes my ride. Cue the country song talking about the taillights and the one that got away. KS3, the Big Bane Miner KS3, previously the prodigal son of my mining farm. Now it's not all that profitable, but it's still profitable and I missed some of the best profitability days. 9.4 terahash second on Caspa. Uh, so that's picked up a little bit recently. Uh, I would be making like around 10 to $15 a day uh, passive income with that. And it costs me about seven bucks a day to run or so, depends. I guess in the pot, it's gonna cost me about $6 a day to run getting it redeployed kind of sucks I'm, I'm finally getting around to this right after all the KRC 20 uh, castle mining profitability prompt and from <laughs> and uh, if you don't know you didn't follow that stuff basically uh, castle miners earned for a few days several days about you know 4x 2x 1.25x mining rewards it's still a little elevated maybe like 10 20 percent elevated uh, from what it was before uh, that capability uh, became possible on chain. Uh, but either way, it's a rig that earns more than, it's bur than it burns. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get this back up. I'm also hoping that it, that it works this way, because if it doesn't work when I do this, uh, my next step is I'm gonna swap the control board and go from there. But the error is that basically in the immersion tank, swapping tons of spoofers and whatever else does not detect the fans, so it does not run to protect itself. So let's, uh, let's get it plugged in. I'm gonna put it in one of the spots where I had uh, one of the K7s. Actually, not literally, because the fans are broken on that side of the shovel, but on the other side.
kind of looks like things are on repeat. I just removed another Ant Miner K7 uh, from the pod over here. I use AirPod Pro sometimes for quick, dirty ear pro. And uh, so we're going to dunk that and get another spot back in the pod for air cooling. Uh, the S19 XP 141 that's not working, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out try to give it a quick cleaning and send it to uh, Bitmain and see I mean that's one of my older ones I think they're definitely gonna send me a bill uh, but I'm having an issue with the hashboards uh, so we'll see just trying to get uh, get the space back get things up and running uh, the good news is that uh, the KS3 that Alexa undunked uh, is working properly so that's really cool uh, right now you know it just said it's pulling 21 bucks a day um, on nice hash mining Casper, so that's that's fantastic. Uh, back from the dead, and kind of kicking myself for not fixing that sooner, but always a hundred things to do. Then uh, I, the Ice River KS3M with the one hashboard replacement is now up from like earning 70 cents a day to three dollars a day. We'd love to try and get a couple more replacement boards in. Uh, we'll see. I sent them a message if, if, if they'll send me any to. Uh, under warranty or what the cost is going to be and i need to run the numbers see if that's going to be worth it probably won't be but hey okay, back to work all right so uh just pulled my broken s21 out of the c6 there that sucked i still can't believe what the hell is math the k7 i forget that the k7 is longer than the average miner of the previous generation uh so that doesn't fit in the v6 d another reason why the taller C6 is such an incredible improvement over the old B6D design. Uh, so I pulled that out here. This is the beautiful Miss Vosk. And uh, ironically, I actually have another S21 that we're gonna go ahead and deploy out here. Uh, so that one's new. So I'm gonna be hooking that up in the pod, taking, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm getting juice back by dunking K7s. Uh, and then I'm get, so I'm getting that capacity, right? I'm opening up some uh, capacity for minor deployment uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn right around and, and utilize that uh, so uh, for my one that was dunked I was using brains uh, so I took brains off of it and I'm gonna run the undunked one um, real quick when we put fans back on it to see if it works I don't think it will and uh, go from there if it doesn't it's going a bit main and we'll see how they, uh, they treat your boy with dunked miners all right Alexa staying busy over there I'm trying to stay busy over here. We already discussed it, the K7 doesn't fit in there, which is where I had planned to put that. Uh, there's so much capability with these C6s, right, including uh, the spacing, right, to put S21s in here, which, which are big. They're, they're big miners. I, I couldn't put them in the B60. Only one fits in a C2 instead of two. Uh, so this is premium real estate. Uh, but. I just think that, especially because I already threw it in fluid, kind of need to get it somewhere. I need to figure out if they will fit in the six minor cell from Bixbit. The three minor is taller, uh, so I know that it would fit in there, but it's kind of an endeavor to do that. Uh, it's pretty difficult. Fluid everywhere, it's a two person job. I gotta get the handles off of that, get the feet that the Big Spit units use and put those into that miner and then get it in there and it's it, it's it's a whole ordeal. I'm just gonna go ahead and kaplunk this into the C6 uh, in that spot. Only downside for me here is that I have to run another power cable in there because I had ran the S21 power cable in there, uh, obviously a uh, different power cable. Uh, and furthermore, um, if you don't know, miners in the fluid become so brittle over time. Uh, so that is essentially a permanent install as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to grab a cable and get to work. It's time for your inspection. You know what happens when you go over 30. I'm not talking about the speed limit. I want to... Alright, 
I just don't have any shorter ones handy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a longer one. It's not that the price is too different. Just a bunch of extra cable. Okay. That's always worse than thinking. <laughs> Alright, so I got it, I got it hooked up and I don't know why I'm making so many mistakes today, but if you put the power cable on the outside end and then the inside, that's when the minor will activate. If you put the inside cable and then the outside cable, the power supply kicks on immediately. Uh, so Basically, it's better to put the outside, you know, furthest away from the miner uh, on, on first. Outside, inside. Uh, so, I have to unplug the cables for the miner in front of it to be able to do this safely and quickly, securely. But we see ethernets on both of those are flashing. And we have two other K7s here and you'll see that they'll blink normal periodically. Blink. Soon enough, these are working properly. They will start blinking normal. Anything other than that, we got problems. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the lid back on and then figure out what's next. Uh, I forgot to take brains off of the S20, S19 XP, uh, so that's not gonna be a good look for sending it to Bitman HQ. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that onto some power, take that off. And also, I want to see if it happens to work when we switch it back to fans. I do not believe it will, but it's part of the troubleshooting process. And the more painful ones. Immersion is, honestly, immersion mining is incredible until a couple things go wrong and then it's kind of a hassle, it's kind of messy. Uh, so, I think it's still worth it, but it can definitely get involved. All right, so I tried running this air-cooled. Uh, you can see here, PSU fan failed. That didn't really matter though. I was wondering if it was a bad PSU. Swapped on a APW1212 or APW121215B. Uh, uh, it wouldn't work with the B at all. Uh, so I put an F on that I had for my power supply stash. And uh, PSU was fine and worked and it fired up with that, but uh, it, it did only detects like eight to nine chips on each hash board. So uh, yeah, this thing's more or less fried, uh, so I don't know, I'm going to send it in and see what happens. Alright, so power supply swaps on the S19 XP uh, were to no avail. Uh, S21 with the fans reinstalled, uh, still faulting out, still uh, does not work. I will discover my S19 XP. And let me show you what I'm And uh, it's easiest when you send, okay, I'm looking for this IP, 7225. And open over here, 7225. It's also easily recognized with runtime. Three dots, restore, stock, firmware. It's a pretty quick process. Second time we've done it today, actually. With one of the power supply fans failing, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the replacement power supply on it because uh, I am sending it in for repair. We'll see what they actually will do. Uh, but I definitely don't want to be charged for anything to do with power supply repair when I was sitting on several backup uh, power supplies. It also is helpful that that's not completely soaked in immersion fluid. All right, minor log. I'll show you anyway. You can see we're already getting a bad chain ID. That's not good. All right, so I just uh, put two power supplies in here to just displace some of this volume to get the fluid level back up. One's a bad PSU and one is the uh, original PSU that I had on that S19 XP that we removed. Um, it's restored the fluid level uh, pretty well. Uh, it's obviously still lower than it was, however, I think that it will be fine. Uh, this is much better. The fluid level deviates a pretty big amount on this unit. 
it's definitely something I'm gonna double check, make sure that that is, that is good to go. Uh, so right now Alexa is unconverting one of the uh, K7s that we had prepped for immersion today uh, because I had anticipated putting one of them in that B6D, two, one and then two, uh, went into the fog hashing C6. And I just don't have the capacity to, uh, I don't have an open spot to put it anywhere else. So I'm looking to make some changes to the miners I have deployed out here. Uh, but I, I need to slow down and make sure I measure uh, and just ensure that I don't try to put a miner in, in an immersion container where it doesn't fit. The Bixbit 6 cell does not fit some of the newer, bigger miners. The 3 cell is taller and actually fits pretty much everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, the C6, again, fits pretty much everything. The B6D does not fit a lot of miners uh, that are coming out now and, and have come out over the last year. Uh, so I need to slow down, take some measurements before I just set myself up for a really bad time because when you get stuck there holding a miner, it's pretty heavy. It's dripped fluid everywhere. It doesn't fit, and then you got to start redoing everything. It's, it just really sucks. We've been there before. We saw the video where we're you know, swapping some miners around and fixing up things out here on the farm. Uh, that's that's pretty much all I got today. I, I won't go on and on. This has been a pretty long video probably by this point. Uh, this is, you know, a glimpse of uh, what it's like out here working on the mining farm. Uh, so, yeah, just, just going to keep, you know, plugging away. Uh, mining has been definitely difficult uh, over the last year. There's been some very profitable miners, but they've lost a lot of profitability pretty quickly. Uh, Bitcoin mining in particular has been very difficult and we've built the backbone of the Vosscoin mining farm out here, you know, uh, pre-having around Bitcoin mining. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to have to keep bobbing and weaving and uh, I'm going to continue to maintain the farm, upgrade the farm, expand the farm, albeit slowly, uh, but I do have some infrastructure coming sometime over the next lifetime of mine. Uh, that while I'm on single phase will allow me to add, uh, deploy another 12 or so miners. And on three phase, it would allow me to deploy uh, around uh, 33 miners. Uh, and also on three phase, which I'm working towards, but I've slowed down on that front, uh, the pod goes from being able to deploy around, you know, 24 ish full power miners. Uh, right now, I've got about 30 because a lot of them use less than full power uh, in there uh, to about 88 full power miners, for example, you know, like an S19, and uh, that's a ton of density in there. Uh, I will run out of rack space before I run out of uh, power uh, in that situation. So, hope you guys like the content. Let me know any questions you have, something I didn't cover that maybe you want me to cover next time. And uh, as always, if you watch this whole video, seriously, thank you, I appreciate you. Um, you know, it's, it, it's fun, it's fun making content. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed my day out here overall. Uh, I, I like working on the mining farm. Uh, it's a fun break from just straight like content creation at the desk. As I continue to, to expand the Boss Point mining farm presence and the, and the uh, responsibilities, uh, it'll be interesting to see you know, how I can try to balance uh, all the content here together. So, hey, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. And of course, 10 second details. We do it on every video. Why wouldn't we do it on this one?